Picture a world in flux. The year is 331 BC. A young ambitious leader named Alexander the Great is on a mission to carve out the largest empire the world has ever seen. His audacious spirit and brilliant military strategies have already led him to conquer vast territories. His eyes are now set on the Persian Empire, a once mighty powerhouse, now in a state of decline. The Persian Empire, under the rule of Darius III, is battling internal strife and external threats. Despite these challenges, it remains a formidable force, with an experienced army and vast resources at its disposal. Meanwhile, Alexander, with his well-trained and loyal Macedonian army, is eager to write a new chapter in the annals of history. The battlefield? Gogamela, a vast plain perfect for the Macedonian phalanx. Two mighty forces stand on the brink of a decisive clash. The stage is set for the Battle of Gogamela. As dawn breaks, two colossal armies face each other. On one side, the Persian forces, an impressive array of infantry, cavalry, chariots and elephants. Their numbers, seemingly endless, stretch as far as the eye can see. Then, on the opposite side, the Macedonian phalanx, a tightly knit unit of spearmen, their bronze shields gleaming in the early morning light. The battlefield, a flat plain near the village of Gaugamela, provides a stark contrast to the mountainous terrain of Greece. The open ground is advantageous for the Persians' superior cavalry and their war chariots, while the Macedonians, seasoned by their numerous victories, are not easily intimidated. The geographical features of the battlefield demand a different kind of warfare, a test of strategy and courage. The Macedonians, led by Alexander the Great, are poised, their phalanx formation a testament to their discipline and coordination. With tension in the air, the battlefield awaits the first move. The silence of the morning is shattered as the battle commences. As the first light of dawn pierces the horizon, the hush of anticipation gives way to the thundering charge of thousands of soldiers. The Battle of Gaugamela, a clash that would etch its mark on history, is now underway. The initial moves of the battle are as intricate as a deadly dance. Alexander the Great, a master tactician, deploys his phalanx, a formidable formation of heavy infantry renowned for its impenetrable shield wall. On the other side, King Darius of Persia sends forth his scythed chariots, their blades glinting ominously in the early morning light. Their purpose is to disrupt the Macedonian formations, to create openings for the Persian infantry to exploit. The battlefield becomes a complex chessboard of moves and counter moves. Alexander's companion cavalry, the elite of his forces, make a daring push towards the Persian left flank. Their speed and ferocity catch the Persians off guard, but Darius's immortals, the cream of his own army, hold the line, their disciplined ranks unyielding. Meanwhile, the Macedonian phalanx, a seemingly unstoppable force, presses forward. The Persians respond with a barrage of arrows, their archers working in unison to create a deadly rain. But the phalanx's shield wall holds strong, the arrows bouncing harmlessly off their defenses. Then comes a pivotal moment. Spotting a gap in the Persian line, Alexander leads a contingent of his cavalry in a bold, decisive charge. This daring move, a testament to Alexander's courage and strategic acumen, throws the Persians into disarray. The battle rages on, each side displaying feats of bravery, tactics and resilience. Amidst the dust and the clamor, it's a scene of raw, unfettered human emotion. The battlefield is a chaotic scene of courage, fear and determination as both sides fight for supremacy. The Battle of Gogamela is far from over. This is merely the opening act of a drama that will shape the future of the known world. In the heat of the battle, the tide begins to turn. Alexander's forces, though outnumbered, are not outmatched. The Macedonian king's strategic brilliance shines through on this day, as he maneuvers his troops with a finesse that would leave even the most seasoned generals in awe. In the thick of the fray, Alexander's companion cavalry, the elite force of his army, stands ready. They are his trump card, his secret weapon. As the Persian front advances, Alexander spots a weakness, a gap in their lines. Without missing a beat, he orders the companions to charge. They surge forward with a ferocity that catches the Persians off guard. The companions slice through the Persian lines like a knife through butter, creating a breakthrough that shatters the Persian front. But it's not just the strategic genius of Alexander that turns the tide. Individual heroics play a crucial role too. Let's take a moment to appreciate the valor of Clytus the Black, a brave Macedonian officer. 
In the heat of battle, he spots a Persian soldier about to strike Alexander from behind. With no hesitation, Clytus steps in, deflects the blow and saves Alexander's life. This moment, this act of bravery is symbolic of the Macedonian spirit that day. Every soldier fights not just for himself, but for his comrades, for his king, and for the glory of Macedonia. It's this unity, this shared purpose, that gives them the strength to stand against the mighty Persian Empire. In the midst of chaos, there's a sense of order, a sense of purpose. Each Macedonian soldier knows his role, trusts in his comrades, and believes in his king. This unity, this trust, this belief, it's more than just a tactical advantage, it's the beating heart of the Macedonian army. The Persians, in contrast, are a disjointed force. Their lines are broken, their soldiers scattered. There's panic in their ranks and their morale is plummeting. The mighty Persian Empire, it seems, is not so mighty after all. With a decisive move, Alexander's forces break the Persian lines, signaling the beginning of the end. As dust settles on the battlefield, the enormity of Alexander's victory becomes apparent. The once mighty Persian army lies defeated, its casualties staggering. King Darius III, having fled the battlefield, plunges his empire into chaos. His flight not only signals his personal defeat, but also marks the beginning of the end for the vast Persian Empire. Meanwhile, Alexander's forces, although exhausted, bask in the glory of an improbable victory. The cost has been high, but the rewards are even greater. Alexander's empire expands, absorbing the territories of the vanquished Persians. In the grand tapestry of history, the Battle of Gogamela is more than just a military clash. It reshapes the geopolitical landscape, causing a seismic shift in power from east to west. The once invincible Persian Empire crumbles, making way for the rise of a new Macedonian-led era. The Battle of Gogamela marks a turning point in history, paving the way for the rise of one of the greatest empires the world has ever seen.